Well, it appears um, I still have a mouse problem in my greenhouse or something running around up here. Uh, as you can see, he's chewing up my tomatoes now. I was specifically saving this tomato to do a review on the, um, this is the uh, silvery fir. And the little rodents are getting my tomatoes. I guess I just got to spend like, you know, 20 or $30 on mouse traps and spread them all over. Because I chased them away from up there. And now they're down here. And you can see the damage they're doing to your to my fruits. And I'm noticing a lot of my tomatoes look like they're disappearing off of my vines. You know, I'm actually wondering, like, why is my plants look like they're missing tomatoes? And this is exactly why. Okay? So it's more than likely it's a field mouse, like the one I caught earlier, I showed you earlier. It's more than likely a field mouse, and, um... They're just all over the place. I mean, this is some of the problems you're going to have uh, with gardening, greenhouses, and living in a country. You know, you're going to have these issues. So, well, that's one tomato gone for the uh, silvery fir. So, I don't know. And this is a determinate tomato, so I'm probably, I got a couple left up there. But, he, yeah, he chewed the biggest one, the best one. He got, he got it good. You can see there's bite marks. Yeah, he got it good, guys. I just find it odd. He got it. In, he got this one at a really odd. He had to really go out of his way to do this. Let's see if there's any turds or anything around I can identify if it is a field mouse or a rat. It could be a rat, guys. It could be a chipmunk. And I know I got chipmunks in here. I know I got them. I got another tomato coming up right here. Probably do a review on that one, and that is the glacier tomato. I think I did a review on that. No, we well, got one more glacier coming out there. But yeah, they're they're doing damage here, guys. It's I'm getting hit from seven different directions. I'm getting hit with the heat. I'm getting hit with the white mold. Now I'm getting hit with the with the mice. I guess it's just not in the cards to do this stuff this year. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I'm just being hammered from every direction. Anyway, uh, yeah, just want to show you if you have rodent problems in your greenhouse, what to expect. All right? It's not just birds, guys. It's not just birds.